Hi, I'm Steve Saint. Sixty years ago, right now, God began writing a story that deeply, deeply impacted my life, as well as that of four other families and hundreds of thousands of people around the world. You know, Psalm 145.4 says about God's stories, generation after generation stands in awe of your work. Each one tells stories of your mighty acts. The story that God started writing 60 years ago was a story about my dad, Nate Saint, and four of his friends, Jim Elliott, Roger Udarian, Pete Fleming, and Ed McCulley had decided to try to make contact with a really violent tribe of Indians living down in the Ecuadorian Amazon. In the process, Dad and his friends were killed, but that's only the beginning of the story. A few years ago, I was traveling with a man that we call Grandfather Minkai, one of the members of the tribe that killed Dad and his friends. And uh, while we were traveling and speaking with uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman, a, a contemporary Christian musician. A journalist from USA Today gave me a call and said, uh, you know, I'd like to interview you. But then he said, but first I want to ask you some questions. A USA Today editor, when he was interviewing us, said, you know, I can understand possibly forgiving the man who killed your father. But he said, but loving him, that seems almost morbid. And you know, it would be if it wasn't true. But the answer to why and how something like this can happen is really very simple. It's God's grace and the power of his word. If you're a Christ follower, that is our commission from Christ, but to share the good news, the gospel with them so that they have a choice to live peaceably with God. It really is true. If anyone is in Christ, they become a new kind of guy.